Oh, good morning. This is Messenger Maria Lane, and whilst I was sitting here ready to record a message, I thought it was um, on picture mode, not video mode. But anyway, here we go. Um, uh, hot off the heels of a Facebook Live, I shared some random messages with some people um, that were around at the time. I thought I would do a message for YouTube. And forgive the background mess, but if I've decided that if I wait for the perfect conditions, it's never going to happen. So now I'm just doing these messages as the inspiration strikes, warts and all. So here we go. And today I'm going to select a card from three different decks. I'm starting off with the unicorn message cards. They're beautiful. Then we have some nature whispers cards. And finally we have um, the energy Oracle deck by Sandra Taylor. So let's see what combination um, appears and what message I can share with you from the universe. So the first card we have is from the unicorn. Oh, prosperity, a gift of money, it's on its way. Your money is increasing. Manage your finances with love. Um, interesting that this card should appear. Uh, abundance, I believe, is attached to our belief of self-worth and what we are worthy of having in our lifetime. So um, prosperity, if you're watching this and there is a lack of, I believe it's a lack of um, worthiness to have more in your life. And when you can trust that there is always enough for you, and you know, we don't need to have a lot of money behind us as long as we have the faith that our me our needs will always be met and the um, the funds or the help or whatever will arrive at the perfect time we don't need that million dollar security behind us so just trust that everything is being taken care of for you your needs are being met you are worthy of having all of the prosperity and abundance that you can manifest so there's that card so next we have Heighten your vitality from Nature's Whispers. Okay, so perhaps the, I was going to say the winter, but not everybody's going through winter right now. We, you have the summer. I feel that you're depleted, that your energy supplies are running on low. Perhaps you've been burning the candle at both ends. You're giving a lot, but not much back to yourself. And so this is guiding you to take some time out to recharge your own uh, energy supplies and how do we do that nature 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 beach walk forest walk walk by the river um, even just sitting outside enjoying a cup of tea in your garden just taking some time out just to stop and smell the roses so to speak just sit there and just enjoy do nothing <laughs> have your thoughts as clean and as pure as um, you know what do I mean by that don't think about what's going to be on your work agenda next week, um, what you're going to have for dinner this evening or whatever. Just sit there, breathe in that beautiful air that you know is gifted to us from Gaia and just feel at peace. And I think that will actually help to, to heighten your vitality. And here's our third card in this message. Oh, Goddess of the Moon. Whenever this card appears, I want to um, share some moon guidance because the moon does impact our emotions and how we respond and re or react to events, other people, comments, what we see on social media or on the media. Um, so there is an opportunity coming up next Sunday, the 26th of August. I believe it's a full moon in the House of Pisces. Pisces being the very intuitive, spiritual um, element of the zodiac. So take some time under this moon to write a letter of release, a letter of all of the, the things that you bereaved, which is the word that wants to come out, those that you feel have hurt you or these events in the past that you know may be lingering beneath the surface that haven't been released yet. Um, Here's an opportunity just to put it down onto paper. It doesn't have to go to anybody else. It's between you, the paper, and the universe. And it's an opportunity. Oh, 
just had this thought and visualize your spiritual team standing behind you ready to take all of this that you're putting onto paper away for you they're just standing there saying yes pass it back give it to us we'll, we'll deal with it and <laughs> just want to share this little simple physical story last night it was quite cool here and I had the worst cramp in my left foot and it just would not go away I got out of bed and I put some socks on thinking maybe my feet are cold and the cramp was there and after about 20 minutes of you know restlessness and you know jumping up and down trying to ease this cramp in my foot I remembered Archangel Michael I said oh can you please take this cramp away and I kid you not it was almost instant it just left and I fell asleep so that's the power of our spiritual team and as I said that it was 555 so I'm going to look up 555 and share the meaning of that number as well so I hope if you're watching that these words are helpful please leave a comment oh I did pass out those spiritual messages as I promised last week um, so I'm happy to do that again join me on Facebook you know leave a comment here and I will make sure that if you're in alignment with receiving one I'm more than happy to pass it on behalf of the universe so thank you very much have a beautiful week ahead and I look forward to sharing more messages with you in the very near future bye